He's seething, dude. This like, is crazy. Ash, you undersold this to today. Me. You undersold this. What the fuck? Are, this is crazy. Not down. <laughs> well, Whoa. he's going to try. This time he's going to try and fight her on this. Well, he knows it's going to be on the Kino Casino. He knows casino, he has so. to. He knows he has to. Like, we he's put him up against the wall life. now. <laughs> Where he's like, look, I got to stand up for myself or I'm just going to uh, get uh, run over. Uh, uh, uh. We're getting into Anissa's husband segment. Okay. Anissa's Anissa yeah. husband. The man forever remembered as Anissa's husband and his podcast. All right. One second. I'll, I'll put on the vest just because. No, I'm going to warn you guys. This is the worst episode of the podcast ever. <laughs> ever. How? It just is because this episode is just so devoid of any sort of content that anyone would want to watch. Like even the hate watchers wouldn't really want to watch this content. I mean, cause there's not even really any moments of I dubs getting felted by his wife, you know, like there's not very many moments of that. It's just like the cringiest non-tent garbage. This is the most recent episode. And it's bad. By the way, it's I heard bad. I heard on his new episode all the comments are about how Dane like makes the show. The show's shit without Dane. Like the no, producer no, I mean, guy. Come on. It's such a cult. They're all shitting oh, on him though. Man. Oh my god. Oh Josh, he's back. Josh Denny is back, folks. All right, let me just extend that. There we go. Hey Dane. <laughs> with, a, here. Here. with a special guest. Special guest. Wait. Special. Did they add a fucking filter to their video? Look. They added like <laughs> they a did. like they a little glowy like the, yeah. sapia yeah. style. No, no, we still hate it. We still hate so by it. By the way, this episode is all about their tattoos, which is the segment where they just totally felt themselves. Last week, we saw them like like, like their own fan was like, could you stop with a with the haircut and the tattoo segments, no one cares, please. Let's just do the whole show about tattoos. They keep their show is a, a constant cycle of repetition. It's like haircuts, uh, tattoos, therapi therapist, and then just like the most boring, like normal conversations imaginable. Yeah, they need something in the middle here, by the way. <laughs> hey, Dan. Oh, don't worry. <laughs> Hey. Did you see the Dane comment on the first podcast that we recorded here? The one that's like, it's not the same without Dane. It has like 71 upvotes. <laughs> it's like the Get most ready. Okay. Most we've ever gotten on a comment. Okay. Mm. So the is that <laughs> 71 upvotes is the most comments they've ever got. <laughs> or the most upvotes they've ever got on a comment. Ever. Felt it alert, felt it alert, felt And he's like, the show sucks it's without. so felted. By the way, that's actually a lie. <laughs> it's actually that's a true. lie. There are comments with more thumbs up than that. And but she's just trying called, to like. Well, it's the, the comments that say, Kino Casino W. Yes. It's like 116. Yes. Those are the comments that had over 100 likes that they throw into the garbage. Yeah. But it's like, we're listening to the feedback. We're listening to the fans by bringing back this boring non-entity who contributes <laughs> nothing. The thing is, he's not even controlling the switching during this episode. Really? He's not even producing it. They just brought him in to sit on a Discord call. Third which chair. They put, but he's not. He doesn't do anything. <laughs> in, uh, she ruined my career history. Oh. Herstory. Oh. Dane, you're part of her Herstory. Ooh. They went on about Herstory and Hillary Clinton for like a solid five minutes straight. Telling us all it's just so felted, man. Whoa. Imagine unironically talking about Herstory. It's a full on castration for I dubbed there. This is brutal. By the way, look, he's switching it, obviously. Yeah. He's wearing crocs with socks on. Very gay. There you go. You're part of her story. <laughs> Sweet. Her story. He, he, you're right. He's a non-entity. He but look he's at this guy's house. He's not even getting house. paid. 
You see the Mac in Wait. the back? Is this, <laughs> he lives in a one-bedroom. Of bedroom. he's Look, the Mac user. That's I know. his kitchen. This is his living room. Yeah. His office. He lives in a bachelor in San Francisco. <laughs> he pays four <laughs> friends a month for. Uh. That's the point. That's, what, that's why they say that. Wait, history? That's where history like, comes look from? At this. That's why they say her. Like, Ooh! Ian himself puts up a, like a preemptive cope saying he was really bad at live switching on this episode then why didn't dane do it yeah why isn't the producer producing the show there's no... so that you guys can focus on doing the podcast because he because they're recording on the obs that's at idubs's house they just can't figure it out yeah no by the way it's not a live show record it and edit it oh no, i know i know they're lazy to do that her story because it's her well, story people say that though well by the way i just wanted to say thanks for having me back on although i was never supposed to leave whoa exposed. just the subtle faltoning exposed, exposed that they just couldn't even figure out how to bring him on like they're so incompetent that he had to leave even though it wasn't planned ash ash look at this bench press 20 yeah. pounds? No, Johnny Average is white. Like, why address it? Like, why even do this? It's just embarrassing. They just humiliate themselves on every show. Gosh, look. 20 pound bench? Like 20 pound bench. Buddy, is that even a real bar? Or is it like no, that's a junior. A junior. It's the junior, the junior bar? bar? It's 20 pounds. And it's like 45 pounds total. I think a lot of people don't understand. Someone said those are two 2.5 pounds. Yeah, what? that's not an Olympic bar. It's not a 45. No, it's not There's 45. No. no. <laughs> me, me I, I was just not here because they didn't figure out how to get like me in through <laughs> Discord yet. Like, it like, was just... Whoa! Like, like, that's like the truth. Like, he just throws them under the bus for their incompetence. Like, two minutes into the podcast, he's like, you know what? You guys are just total bombs can't even figure out discord really <laughs> boom just throws them right in the bus and he does it again it's hilarious that they brought this guy back because he delivers at least one or two feltnings to them an episode because he's gonna <laughs> felt them about the tattoos as well but he's gonna do it in a way where it sounds like he's giving them a compliment <laughs> but he's just exposing them for being trash so get By the ready. way, uh, can we hit the goal? If people are wondering, I'm wearing this vest because we hit goal. It's a 40 pound weighted vest. Unironically, this vest has more weight than that fucking bench press. <laughs> Not even kidding. Like I, I wasn't kicked off or I didn't like leave or anything. <laughs> oh. This is not that hard to do. Like everyone, when <laughs> else does it? True. I don't like, know. Doesn't doesn't H3 do it for like years? Whoa. You know H3, the guy who like makes way more money and views than you, but you guys are more incompetent than H3 H3, but you know Ethan Klein. I think he's imagine got, like, getting five dabbed employees. on Ethan Klein by your own fucking staff. But he's not really staff because they don't pay him. So he's just seething that his time's wasted having to listen to this garbage. <laughs> <laughs> Why he does it, I don't even know. I guess he just relishes in these little moments where he gets to have a bit of power for once in his life. Look, Dane. And dunk on these buffoons. Dane, we know you watch our videos. Come on the show. Spill all the tea, all the dirt. We'll have you on. We'll love to have you on. Dude. With that one. That's cool. Mm -hmm. Imagine he did. Ian was just so mad. <laughs> He's already on. mad. Oh, he hates us. He's not like us. Yeah. Can he fl is, does he have flying? Can he fly? Can he fly? <laughs> <laughs> Cringe. Fly? What? Can he fly? <laughs> does he have flying? Okay, they okay. fly now. Enough. Sorry. I'm we have a problem, okay? What the fuck? Yeah. Anissa derails his shit so... Oh! <laughs> the truth! Jeez. My dubs is standing up for himself and pointing out the truth that Anissa derails the podcast. Now, she does definitely derail the podcast and goes on these stupid stories that nobody cares <laughs> about. However, is it possible to derail a podcast that doesn't even have segments or structure <laughs> or anything planned? Yeah, you'd want it, like you'd want them to derail with something. Is it possible when you got nothing? 
Yeah, if you, can you really derail something that has no tracks? <laughs> like if there, was, there was no direction to begin with, but... By the way, I'm Ash... I'm glad he's finally bringing up the truth. Ash, is this like a dirty shoelace? Yeah. Wait, well, is, like no, the, the, it's a cord. Like, it's a cord. It's her headphone. Cord. I thought it was. It's her headphone. Cord. I was like, but, no, like no, 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 she's no. got like her filthy shoes on the couch. Yeah, look at these shoes. Like it's, <laughs> like, like, it's grimy, man. Like take your shoes off the fucking couch, dumb bitch. I Dub's getting disrespected again. You know, he paid like probably a thousand dollars for that garbage furniture. No, they found. They drove. They oh, fucking wait. found it. Oh, no, the they side found of the it on the side of the Come road. Come on. Like, Someone Often. yelled at us in the comments last uh, podcast saying, You look as the one. The a a Andy and Ashton say hi. Like, what do they yell at you, guys? <laughs> Do it God's now. For sake, pick a goddamn topic. Yes. Wait, that was yes. our show. No, that was no, our show. Was a, that was our a, show. I know. Anybody who observes this, though, says the exact same shit, which they never listen to. Like, pick some topics and stick to it. But, like, she just immediately derails no. into Pokemons with electric power and flying. No. It's like, Ash. bitch, just shut the f*** up. Their own, their own fans are sad. Yeah, you know? Like, we're right. We're like, no, of course you, we're look, right. I know we're mean, but it doesn't mean we're wrong. <laughs> pick a goddamn time. By the way. Dane's volume's at 175%. Did you hear did you hear that laugh? Uh, Look. Watch. Pick a goddamn topic. <laughs> Whoa. He, he couldn't contain his laugh. He just it's sounds so on them. It's so loud. Can you believe that our fans want us to have a topic? How no, dare they? Like, whoa, oh my god. How dare we put the bare minimum <laughs> amount of effort into this pocket? The thing is, like, what you guys are doing clearly isn't working. It's been 28 episodes of trash. <laughs> Not one episode has been good or even okay. <laughs> the only people that have enjoyed any of it are the people that hate you guys. Do you understand? Mm -hmm. So maybe it would be time to listen to some of the helpful advice from your own, like, supporters if there even are any or even your haters and just like pick a topic for each episode or bring a guest <laughs> on. I don't know. it's only an hour show like fuck. like our pre-show like we meet up like an hour before the show fuck. it's more of a show than this oh wait okay let's pause for a second let's pause this real quick catch the wake let's just show it real quick all right here we go one sec dave williams has subscribed all right What's going on? Somebody's having like a therapy session in the chat here. No one of note and to be flair are having like a therapy session in the chat. What's going on? Being denied the necessary closure is so cruel. Even when people do it, they think they're you're forgiving yourself, failing to forgive her. What's going on? Can anyone explain what, what that was? What? Right, hang on. Care to explain somebody? Yeah, it's still better content than Ian and Anissa, to be yeah, fair. You ready? You ready for this? Oh, what? buddy. No, I agree, Ice Maskin. They should just go full communist and do their degenerate uh, lefty. Okay. He's very small, but. He's got. Is, what is it? What is the hat? It's like a bear hat. It's a bear. Hang on, Cloud. Let me just do this. Oh, look at this little... It's, he's a bit... He's too small for it still. <laughs> You're too small for the bear? All right, guys. Well, there we go. That was the goal. Now we need to get 30 more subs. Let's go. Can we hit it? Oh, you falling you asleep You just never arms? know what will happen. He's on falling the... asleep in my arms. Young A-Log has gifted five subs, putting us 25 away from the goal. Can oh. we hit it? Stop a bear hat. All right. Let me it's take it Boston off you, buddy. It's a Maroons fan. All right. Uh-oh. All right. Let me put him away. All right. Say bye to the chat. Woo. Say bye to the chat, Cloud. Corgoss going ape shit in the chat. I need to wear the vest, too, and get ripped and healthy? PP's already ripped, Barl. Don't even worry about it. <laughs> Dying on air.
It's oh, over. So Don't cute. derail the cat goal. Jeez. Yeah, I wear the 400 pound vest every day. Oh. Uh, did you see how he's so cute? He is a cute cat. Yeah. He, yeah. I put him down. He was just like, what? His brother was like, where did you go? What the f? All right, He's here. being exploited for donos on stream Let's is where he go. went. Let's go. I love that kid. God bless I the cat. God there, bless the girl. There's such good kitties. Okay, let's go back. Here we go. Pick a goddamn top. Yeah. But th yeah, this pick a top. Is, don't worry. I'm keeping us on schedule. It maybe just takes like 10, 15 minutes she's longer. She's seething. To on <laughs> schedule. <laughs> yeah, she's mad. It might just take 10, 15 more minutes with this derailing idiot beside me. But don't worry, guys. We're going to keep it on topic this week. Wait, Ash, do you think so? From what it looks like, she's trying to felt him. And when we started covering, he started felting her. Now, da Dane's felting them both. Do you think they know that we're going to make fun of them? So they're like just trying to outfelt each other? To be it's like, like kind of like the human feltipede at this <laughs> point. <laughs> Dane's at the front of the train. I dubs is in the front. <laughs> the human feltipede. That's so funny. <laughs> <laughs> None of them want to be embarrassed. Yeah, exactly. To get onto the topic that I have planned <laughs> next. Somebody wanted a weight update that reminds me, uh, and you're oh, 106 here we go. pounds. Wait, what? You're what? By the way, why is this? Why does this fucking look like sapia? Weight update that and reminds then... me. Uh... Whoa. Yeah, but what's going on here? He forgot to filter all of them? He forgot to filter each shot? Like... He couldn't just drag it over the whole timeline in editing? Yeah. Or is it from the lights in no, the studio? Because no. they had lights. No, I literally think that the one camera, he filtered it like this, but then didn't filter out the other ones. Right. So now we have this. Uh, and you're 106 pounds. 187? Babe, I was going to round up. Oh, oh sad, sad, pathetic. pathetic. He's been weight mogged by his wife. There, you know, he bones. said. I think we covered his like uh, his goal stream from at the beginning of the year, his New Year's resolution stream, where he was one eighty five, mm -hmm. and now he's one eighty six. So he's got a little bit more water one. weight on. <laughs> He's Drake like a Gatorade he's before the show. To like round up to 190, so he's like on pace to get to 200 <laughs> by the end of the year. But his wife just throws him right into the deep end and lets him drown. Just felts him. <laughs> and Nine. it's like you know when this happens, it's pre-recorded. He should just say cut, do it again. Say I'm 190. <laughs> like ah! how some balls, Ian. Like you're getting weight cut by your like cut. God. No, you were supposed to say I'm 190, you f***ing Jezebel, you harlot, <laughs> you slatternly mess. <laughs> say it right this time. No, he's only 186. <clears throat> Wait, he can't do that because they don't edit anything. It's true. This is another reason you should edit your show. Ooh, 190. But <laughs> no, she's, she's right. Last time I went to the gym and I was oh. fully naked, I was 186 pounds. <laughs> Men in the public uh, locker room at gyms love being naked. No. Okay. No! So, I what do you mean? Like, I-dubs apparently has really, really bad experiences in male locker rooms. Uh, apparently, where he just gets mogged and like... Because remember he was talking about how <laughs> he was like sexually abused by men. Like they try and take advantage of him. I'm just saying, like, this is not like a normal male experience. No, it's maybe like, it is where he's from, but like, I don't, I don't care about being naked in the locker room. I, I'm not like this rules. This rules. Look I'm at exposing my myself no. to everybody. Look here. No, you fucking, you change and fuck off. You know, like yeah, they love that's it. true. They, they love, love the trauma. Excuse. Even like, Dane's like, yeah, Dane, you don't know anything. You 
fucking I, bench, uh, 25 no, pounds. Stop. Look at how traumatized Idubs is at this recounting. Like, look at him. He's scared, man. Like, he's like having flashbacks to when he was touched in the no no place by the old man last week. <laughs> you know what he looks like there a bit? Wade. A little bit. A little bit. A, a, a bit like Wade. Excuse. Yeah. To let um, that thing swing. Yeah. They actually do. It's <laughs> disgusting. I think they're That's looking to up. get. Uh, he see that uh, propositioned. No, no. He, it's just guys don't give a. F what are you talking about? Like, this is the weirdness of how his mind works. Is he thinks that these men in the locker room are propositioning him for gay sex? This is not well, what's going on. I guess I mean, it depends what kind of gym he's at. Buddy, he the, got the gay. gay yeah, that the was gay a gay yeah, no, this is Anissa's secret plan is she takes him to the gay gym <laughs> to, 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 to warm him up for the peg later on. No, buddy. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Like most, I feel like if you actually gave men most, like most men the option, like would you rather stand or sit? Mm -hmm. They'd rather sit. Why the fuck you? you okay. <laughs> okay. I dubs Wait, buddy is pissing. over. So is Stop. I dubs sitting down to pee? Like, what does she base that off of? He's like, is it are true you? that he's like, are you fucking kidding me that you're doing this to me again, lady? Are you kidding? He's seething, dude. This like, this is crazy. Ash, you undersold to this today. Pee. You undersold this. What the fuck? Are you, this is crazy. Not down. <laughs> well, Whoa. he's going to try. This time he's going to try and fight her on this. Well, he knows it's going to be on the Kino he knows Casino. He, has so. to. he knows he has to. Like, we <laughs> put him up against the life. wall now where he's like, look, I got to stand up for myself or I'm just going to uh, get uh, run uh, over. Uh, 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 I got to uh, do something. She's, uh, saying, she's telling the world he sits down uh, to pee now. <laughs> Last week, he remember he was the boy who blows and she yeah. was the girl who fingers? You, you think so? Why would you want to stand? He, she and, goes, like, you holding... think so? Why would you want to stand? He actually, he actually considered that. He goes, you think so? Like, it's game over at that point. Like, because he's just praying to God. Like, he's crossing his fingers. Like, please don't let her bring up that IP safe. So please. Yeah. Please. Mm -hmm. They'd rather sit. Why the fuck do you, you want to stand? So? Why would you want to stand and, like, hold and aim your dick at. It's fun. If you're. Yeah, it's fun. It's chill. You're standing. You're not sitting, and that's gay. Yeah. Like, I mean, you aren't taking a dump. If your dick's hard. <laughs> Okay, first hey. of all, so you're like, wait, wait, wait. Anissa, most uh, times your dick isn't hard when you're taking a piss. Like, you know, like she... when you wake up in the morning, a lot of the time it is. And yeah, then you got to piss right away. Yeah. But now, now what's baffling to me is I-dubs will then claim that it's hard to take a piss when you're hard. Uh-huh. That you have to, like, squeeze it out. Which is not really my experience. Well, yeah, kind of. I mean, it's like, it's not hard, but you, it's like, it's different. You have to like hold it down, right? Yeah, so well, like, you know, yeah. I mean, like the so aiming, it's not like, like the actual physical sensation of passing the piss. Anyway, this is ridiculous. Anyway, do a handstand. Uh -huh. If you are like, if you well, have a, a long day. You have to give it an extra push. Yeah, a little bit extra push. If, Either way, though. If you have... No, you, no. Like, these are all annoying. Bring, that just brings up more mm. counter arguments, oh though. Oh, my God. Uh, he's like, this is the right, listen, we need a... Like, this okay. is so shit. It's so bad. This is your podcast? Remember when they said that it was going to be bigger than Joe Rogan or a Joe Rogan tier podcast? Can you imagine Joe Rogan talking about how he prefers to sit pissing down? Imagine. Yo, Eddie, you ever sit pissing down? Like, it's that's not going to happen. That's a clog topic. If you're hard, <laughs> you aren't achieving anything by sitting. Really? No. Because, like, it, uh, yeah. it's hard. <laughs> he, it he's like, yeah, yeah. Like, like, in the obvious, you dumb bitch. Like, yeah. Like, just go think about it for two fucking seconds. Like, two different. Doesn't it go all over the place? I mean, it could if you're able to squeeze a piss out. <laughs> I ain't able to squeeze a piss out if I'm hard. <laughs> At See, all. okay, now that, that confuses At all? me. That, so that confuses me because it's like, okay, it might be more difficult. But are you telling me, like, does he have a prostate issue, or like, is his your like, does he have a kidney stone? 
Is this like urethra all fucked up? Like, did Anissa sound him too much, or what's going on here? Yeah, you can. This it's is just harder, yes. <laughs> what is <do> you- <laughs> well, the characteristics? Like, I piss hard a lot of mornings. Same. Do you, Wait. Dane, do you have a phrase for let those puppy, puppies breathe, but for like <laughs> dicks that are hard? <laughs> yeah. But yeah, no, it fing, imagine it's sticking straight out. So when you sit down, where would it be going right now? If I'm sitting, it would be going oh, no, straight up. Right. Yeah, no, you're right. Okay, <laughs> no, okay that's fair. Uh, Wait, so you can't. Additionally, okay. if you have a fucking long schlong, that's just hitting the bottom of the toilet bowl. <laughs> don't worry. You don't have a fucking problem with that fucking item. I dubs. Come also, on. Also, when you're shitting, when you shit, you sit. Yeah, you okay. have to sit. So what you're saying then, that whenever you shit your dick, well, just, like in what shit what water. Will, here's what will fucking happen. Like if you, I've had this happen where you piss fucking sitting down, and then it fucking just like shoots through the fucking hole yeah, in between the fucking seat. In between the seat and the fucking yeah. bowl. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. like you know like Before you, you want to. <laughs> so yeah, because when you're taking a shit, you go to like do both at once. Yeah, you do and a that's double. Like a, yeah. It can be a bad. Call, well, well, yeah, you sit down with an, with an erect, right, to take a dump, but you start with a piss first. The piss is the first thing before you... you st this is disgusting, first of this all. This is so gross. Is this even going to go on YouTube? Like I'm going to erase this portion, probably. Oh, sofa floor? No, no, I'm going to leave this in. Fuck it. <laughs> Bro, so you sit down shitting? Holy... Yeah, I, yeah, I'm such a man. I shit standing up. Yeah. Clean it up, Jenny. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, these things that you're <laughs> that you're saying, like, are not good. You want to just sit there, aim and piss. <laughs> this whole thing was <laughs> oh her just God. emasculating him and this dating him and nuts. explaining it. Because once you start explaining it, you're just felt it. You dunk you know your what dick. I mean? What does that even mean? Oh my God. I d yeah, I thought we were dying yeah. for real. I mm -hmm. thought I thought it was this was it. Yeah, for sure. Uh, <laughs> let me just set the scene. Uh, pretend like you're sleeping. Okay. Like head back, like you're in bed. I'm like in we bed. both sleep like I'm this. in bed. My pillow's okay. here. Okay. <laughs> this is me. My reaction. Uh -huh. On what the, the ear rape. Fuck? What? I, I, what sort of annoyance was that? What is that? Now their Rottweiler got up. Good, we, pr oh. we pranked her oh, back. Oh, did that scare you? We pranked her back. Well, it scared us, too, the yeah. other night. Yeah. Okay, so they've I had to know. resort. The podcast is so bereft of content. <laughs> it has, like, no content. They've had to tell a story of when their dog made a whining noise that woke them up at night. <laughs> and they're before to resort to the gimmick of having their Rottweiler on the show. I don't know. It's okay. It's okay. I don't know what the f got into Fiona, but it was like what your dog's name is fucking Fiona. What I'm the not naming like your Rottweiler Fiona, Please. like it's hanging its head in shame. Fiona, yeah, uh, yeah, we were all like dead asleep. We were in deep REM sleep, yeah, and Fiona was so just, quirky. It, it so had cringe. REM, get it. Oh. Fiona. I don't know what he told me. He admitted this to me a couple of months ago. Here we go. When we were walking around our community, because a lot <laughs> there's a lot of tulips in our community. He went, I didn't think these were actually real. I thought that. So, <laughs> Anissa is now to the point. She just relishes it. Every opportunity she can to lord anything over Ian, she does. It's to the point now where she's dunking on him for not believing tulips were real. Which, it's like, whoa, buddy. I thought that Animal <laughs> Crossing made them up. He <laughs> thought Animal <laughs> Crossing invented the tulip. Wait. Does this guy go outside? That's what he meant? <laughs> Are you kidding me? <laughs> Is this real? No. Why does she do this to him? Tulip Why is the does second she flower like, you learn so after rose. Melted. You learn rose tulip. Literally, violets. That's, the, that's the, and then you learn about violets. Yes, violets are red, roses are blue. Whoa! I dubs the cock and I yes. hate Anita too. You just yeah. reverse the flower colors there. Jeez. Whoa, buddy! It's what? over. Pal. That's a feltening right there. Are you being serious? <laughs> he went, yeah. Like they look too perfect, and so got this big that's how you know this is real. Yeah. What's happening? 
Okay, so we're now to the point the show has failed so badly no. that we're now doing pre-recorded segments for the podcast. Stop! So this is iDub's huge like pre-recorded comedy skit that he's banking on to save the show. Do you think it's going to save the show? No. I know it will not save the show. In fact, it will be something we'll point and laugh at. Let's go. <laughs> Timmy Flair says, roses are red, violets are blue, coffee is black, and Anissa's eyes should be too. <laughs> oh, buddy. Uh, aside from, like, censoring out my large <laughs> Coke and balls... Look, like he's balls. actually he's just taking oh off God. his clothes. <laughs> Completely censored. <laughs> Y'all don't know what's going on back here. There's nothing to see. He actually has a mangina. He, that... he has a mangina. Bros. I dubs. This was not the dub you were looking for. There's buddy. just pubes. It's a Ken doll. He's got a shadow. So somebody pointed this He's out. Talking, like, it's I'm old just stealing too. from the chat, by he the way. He still has the meth haircut. Yeah. So this is, this is, he filmed this weeks ago to put in a podcast to own the haters. She has a bigger piece. This I is pubes. another humiliation ritual. This is negative content. Yeah. <laughs> Completely censored. <laughs> Hey, it works well, pretty good. If it's not censored, I'm going to have to censor it. And post. Just don't bring it any closer. This is not illegal. Yeah. <laughs> this is perfectly legal. This it should be, you know. <laughs> yep. You don't know what's going on. I wasn't. On a, right here. I mean. Okay, no now he's playing with he's his man. <laughs> <behind here. laughs> Does he have a bra on? What is going on? This, we've hit. Again. I told you this was rock bottom, man. This is yeah, the cameraman's <laughs> literally laughing at Ian. I don't know how you top your L's week after week. I don't know. I don't know if he tops his L's, but he finds a way to come up with ones just as bad. Yeah, like equal. It's like an equal or less or greater than. It's very well. We were saying earlier on well, the um, on the Bill video nihilism. Then. He's predicted the future. He goes. So now I Dubs is starting an OnlyFans. No. We're getting there. What? We're getting there. Oh, I just realized. I was going to say, by the way, like, like, yeah, on the opening video we did for the, uh, you know, our, our promo for the show, um, you're like, Ian's hit rock bottom. And I'm like, hasn't he already hit it? You're like, well, and I was like, it's like the Mariana Trench. We're not at You can rock. always like, go deeper. It's deeper. We're never going to find the true bottom of this. You it know? just keeps going yeah. and going and going. <laughs> so here he is playing with his nipples, wearing a bra, and sticking his tongue out. I realize you are completely naked. Well, behind. his wife oh, laughs. Oh, at wow. Him. It's a mystery what's going on behind here. <laughs> this is graphic. Yeah. That's, yeah, damn. I got pretty sick with it. Uh, I actually didn't include some uh, shots that were. Oh, actually, okay. Oh, undulating like, it? Yeah, I was wiggling around a bit. Well, because then we could see how tiny that, pe that packer is, bud. Yeah. And that gave Holy. a little too much, like... I will now take this time to soft launch my husband's OnlyFans. No! Well, no! I don't think... Does he want her to soft launch it when hers failed completely? It's a failure, but look at how felt. Like, man, it's grim. Yes, man is somebody funny, in huh? chat nailed it. Like he knew it was coming. He must have. I like the. I like to imagine you're in charge of it. Me. Okay. And Ooh, he doesn't no! know. He's like having like weird like puckled fantasies. Himself that, that's nuts. Of, of I Dubs getting dumbed by Anissa into doing various degrading <laughs> acts on OnlyFans. Like, what is wrong with this man? And like, he's like, he, and you don't know about it. Is that what he's about yeah, to say? No. Yeah. You yeah. don't know she's secretly recording you and this making is, money this off is, you? Look at, this is this guy's sexual fantasy. And that's why he sits in the corner for the podcast. This is f***ing... Have, have you seen Josh Denny before? No. May I, may I show you him? Watch. All right. Go off, King. Everyone keeps saying this in chat, but this is who it... Is this not him or what? What is this? 
Whoa! Look at that. that. Is, wait a minute. Are you telling me that's not the same person? I know. Look at him. He is the same person, man. Bro, what? look at this guy's f***ing views. 156? Oh, no. In eight days? So so how I know him, uh, like back in the day, Red Barb used to make fun of him. Right. And he was like a, a professional comedian who was part of like... He did uh, some show on uh, the Food Network, okay? But right. Then they found out he said like the N word or some shit on Twitter, and they fired him. And he was no. like an Uber driver, and Red Bar like harassed him until he like wanted to <laughs> himself or something. I just take the pictures he sends me. Yeah. Could you imagine? <laughs> uh, I like so the idea that it's just up. a bunch of creep shots. Oh, that are, like, 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 no. she <laughs> she re releases his revenge as an OnlyFans. Is that? Oh. We've just received the admission that he sends pictures of him doing depraved things to Anissa. God only knows what sort of horrible blackmail she has on Ian. He pulls the, he pulls, yeah, exactly. And that's why he pulls the fucking amazing atheist. Remember that? Uh, I imagine it's even worse. <laughs> Some comments. I think it was the last episode. Some people were saying, like, uh, or at least one person said, like, man, the fucking tattoo talk was three minutes and you got distracted. That was us. Yeah. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I think we can share a little bit. Um, yeah. What was they, your they first just felt no. themselves so bad during no. this? Okay. No. No. To Anissa. Um. The the snake and skull. Oh, here. This one. Ooh, oh. There's so no that's shading. Not there's no like. There's nothing. They look like stickers. They look like the press-on tattoos that you get out of the bubblegum machine. Even like worse. Adult. Yeah, they're not even on that level. You know what it is? It's like, one, like, like a student actually, film. A student this filmed This isn't it. Okay. actually her first tattoo. Oh. Her, 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 this is the first tattoo she got on the advice of her psych psychologist. But the first tattoo she got, she's ashamed of because mm. it was a tattoo that was meant to commemorate her grandparents. Like, Anyway, let's just get, let's just let it play. We're gonna get into right, this as time right. goes on. Snake into skull. Uh, and That's actually, such a classic one. How old are yeah. you? Uh, no, this was super recent. Not super recent, but I was what 26, 27. How uh, old is she? My... What is she like? Thirty seven. She's no, she's like thirty. Wow, thirty one. My dad got really sick. Yeah, um, around there. Yeah, basically, and part of it was like I started going so, to therapy. You got okay. This you is watched crazy. This whole thing. I watched this entire fucking thing. But her dad started getting Alzheimer's, so she knew mm -hmm. that she could get tattoos, and her dad would forget that she had them. It's around the same time she launched the OnlyFans as well. Oh my god. <laughs> Tolerator for 50 <laughs> subs will skip to review. Yeah, no, we this, have to actually, on, they we felt have to themselves this. pretty bad here on this tattoo shit. Like teaching me about like, you know, I have wants and things that I like. I just don't know it yet. Well, so do really you hear what she just says? She goes, she, she goes to her therapist, right? And the therapist teaches her that she has wants, interests, and hobbies. She just doesn't know what they are yet. Imagine <laughs> being a fully grown 27-year-old human being, and you have no interests, no hobbies. You don't know what they are. And the therapist tells her to get tattoos as a hobby. This is what she's telling us. What? That's what she just said. Are That's you kidding me? No. That's fu- No therapist told her that. There's not, there's no therapist told her that. I, I No, I bet you they did because they just want to keep milking her for money. So they're oh going to tell her whatever God. she wants to hear. Practice that. But on top of that, like, um, my dad always used to talk about like how we were going to go on a cruise when he retired. And then obviously like his mind went and we never did it. What was your first tattoo? Uh, my first tattoo was a. Oh, notice uh, how he's asked twice. Because she lied about what her first tattoo actually was. And she's not going to tell us the meaning behind her real first tattoo. Which is that it was to honor her grandparents, which she got it lasered off. A hummingbird and a chickadee that was like watercolor. Mm -hmm. It was like a watercolor realistic. Yeah. Um, which is like, I got it because I was one of those people that was like, you need to have meaning. Mm -hmm. Uh 
you know, to have a tattoo. Oh, like a normal person. I actually ended up... Like, if you're going to put something on your body forever, the advice everybody tells you is it should have some level of meaning to you. <laughs> you know? It, it, sh it should be something that, ha like, represents your values, who you are as a person or your family or whatever. It shouldn't just be Pickle Rick. But I, I dubs in this will unironically say that he's going to get a Pickle Rick tattoo or that he's interested in getting a Pickle Rick tattoo. So what they're saying here... In I'm 2024? Gonna, yes. So what they're saying is they don't believe in tattoos having meaning. Just hit play. It's so f***ed up. Ended up really regretting mm -hmm. that, which is ironic because I thought having meaning behind it I wouldn't regret it, but I, I regretted it because I was so focused on having meaning and being the right choice that it ended up not fitting my overall style that I mm -hmm. liked. In it's like the random sh Sharpie drawn style, like yeah. Or thought that I put into a tattoo, mm -hmm. the more I'm like, I wouldn't say that I uh, like. Get out with it. Get Get your, oh say God. your fucking words. Man, have purpose. This went on for like 30 minutes. Have purpose. It's so bad. I, uh, like, you should not be allowed to do a podcast it, legally. It's an no, it's an insane statement. So what he's saying is the more thought that he puts into the a worse tattoo, it is. the more disappointed he is with it because he built up an expectation of it oh. in his mind. Whereas if he just picks random garbage to put on his body, there was no expectation or thought about it. So but, therefore, it's good. But, but, but Ash, you agree with me, right? Like, it's just like, uh, so, yeah, the more thought I put, like. It's fucking, actually like they're just such trash people. Like, like it's full oh on my. consumerist garbage. Yeah. God, just say it. Necessarily like it less, mm -hmm. but I can. I've found a bit more of a correlation with like expectations. Yeah. Um, yeah. Um, I think an example for me mm -hmm. of that oh, kind man. of thing where I was like, oh shit. Well, this butterfly that I have on my wrist. It's an I, Ed Hardy butterfly. Yeah. I was not oh, anticipating. They actually unironically wear Ed Hardy drawn tattoos. Ed Hardy is like the douchiest fucking shit. Like, isn't it like it's, a it's so sad. clothing brand from a fighter yes, or something? For shit? douchebag. For douchebag. Yeah. yeah. This Wasn't... is a design that like thousands of other people have. But <sighs> this is like he's chose to get an Ed Hardy butterfly, which is his favorite tattoo, by the way. Oh man. Getting when I walked into the tattoo shop. Yeah. Same thing with pretty much ninety percent of our tattoos. Yeah. Uh, and we like it that way. Uh but I asked the artist, um, like Joshua Marks, uh, in L.A., like, what what are you into? What do you think would be good here kind of thing? Mm -hmm. And he was really into this butterfly. Did you see him faster? As Man, I'm telling like, you. Like, oh, my God. It's like, it's, fucking, it's like. Buddy, uh, I was, like, cutting sections out. The problem is, in order to understand this tattoo No, segment, I get what you're saying. No, 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 no. I get why you. you yeah. But it's just, like, the way he says it. It's like. Do you care? It, Let's like, go to one and a half times speed, man. Uh, no, you don't care because it's completely monotone. There's no passion. There's no excite, no inflection in his voice look, whatsoever. And this is supposed to be like the thing that you're so passionate about that you've covered 90% of your body in it. But yet this is how you talk about your favorite tattoo. It's not even one that you thought was mid. It's like you're, you're going to say your favorite. Look. I know what I did, you know, it's like the cutesy cat goal was like, oh, it's a bit cringe, but it's cute, whatever. But you can even see in my face, I'm like, look at my cat, I'm kissing it, I'm like, oh, it's so cute, okay, yeah, but like that, like, because I, you, you could tell I love my cat. This guy talking about that too. Well, you're like, just not like a broken person no, yet. Like, uh, this is a soulless, broken person. Imagine whose like, only fulfillment in life is vapid consumerist trash with no meaning. Yeah, I'm, imagine I went like this. Yeah, so this is my cat. Uh, his name is uh, Cloud. I uh, bought him, and I'm gonna. Bring... You'd be like Andy. Like we have to figure this out. Like, can you move the f on? Holy, Holy shit! Someone says it's not cringe. It's gay. Very funny. Okay, perfect time. And I was like, I was super nervous because I'm like, it's kind of. 
maybe you could interpret it as a little. We're at one and a half speed, by the way. Fruity. Yeah. Maybe. Feminine. Yeah. Maybe, He's maybe fruity and like, feminine. Yeah. Like, kind of. Maybe you could interpret it as a little fruity. Maybe feminine. it is. Yeah, maybe it's maybe fruity I don't and like feminine. Yeah. Lost fact. Yep. Go on. Yep. Humanoid face on the butterfly. Maybe I don't like that. All oh, that color. It's, it's definitely. You know what? My thought was I've never noticed it because I don't care. Yeah. Holy f. People with tat tons of tattoos have to like give you a well, hypnosis their whole on their personality. The whole personality is the tattoos. Which you know what? Like I don't understand. It's not for me, and I, I wouldn't like tattoos. get tattoos. I like tattoos. But I just think that, the, and like the, the thing is, though, they're like aware of how permanent they are. They're gonna talk about how like you have to go through like fifteen sessions to get it lasered off. I Dubs admits that his tattoos are all gonna look like shit in twenty, thirty years, and they're gonna be faded. Or they do it anyway. Mm. I I just, but they don't have any meaning behind it. Like with most people, at least they'll be like. Have some cope where it's like, okay, well, this represents my kids, or this represents my dad who passed, and I want to remember him through. At least they'll have that. They're actually trying to argue that it is more meaningful to have meaningless tattoos because it fits their aesthetic. Yeah. And even though it's going to make them look Ash, retarded. My, my knuckle tattoos is a symbol for everywhere I've lived. And I was like, the whole, whole process was up. When I was like moving around, I was like, oh, I'll get a tattoo for everywhere that I've fucking lived. That was the idea behind it. And like, I at least had but, some, even though it was like crazy, like I had to get like prison style tattoos on my yeah. knuckles, it was still like, <laughs> oh, a fucking thought. And I now know. my thought is I'm gonna but, get a tattoo to cover it. And yeah. it's like I've like moved on from my past. Well, like that's what I, that's my argument against it is that you constantly change. So like the person yeah. that you are at 18 years old when you get your first tattoo or 16, mm. the version of you at 30 is going to look at you and fucking cringe, man. Yeah. So and then this, it's the same thing when you turn 30 or like when you turn 40, if you got it at 30, you're going to also be completely different. Yeah. And most of the time when you get these, you're so young, you don't even know who you are. You have no sense of stability in your life. So I don't know. But let's just let's get. Yeah, so I'm getting the, like a cover of it because I'm like in my head, I'm like, this was like something that I was doing when I wasn't like in like who I am right now. So I'm going to block it with something that represents like change or whatever the f That's what I, but they're just like walk in, whatever. This is, I think, my favorite tattoo, oh my this God. butterfly. Um, and I think. I like, they look like stickers. Yeah. Um, which yeah. is nice. Yeah, exactly. No, I don't think a lot of. No, it's not. No, it's not. I'm put on regular speed. Oh, no, yeah, all right. It's been like crazy. People like they, I think the interpretation uh, from a lot of people who don't get it or they don't know anything they about don't get it. tattooing or traditional tattoos Stick. is yeah. like that is seen as like a, a negative. Yeah. And it's I like, know. it's We've... not a negative to make it look like a sticker. That's the whole yes. point. Yeah. No, it's, oh my fucking God. Oh. It's, it's art. It's supposed to be art. Yes. Oh, we are the intellectuals that understand the true meaning behind the tattoos. Retort. We know the history of American traditional pleb. So sit in your corner and shut your mouth. <laughs> like, fuck you guys. Yeah. Like, I love how pretentious they are about it, too. It's just pathetic. Yeah. Fuck. Um. Actually, they're supposed to look pathetic. like stickers. Yeah. What the fuck are you talking about? Yeah. Our That's... That's literally like someone, you know, you, you're at the art gallery, you see a fucking canvas with like a red circle like slashed on it, and you're like, that's fucking art. And then someone's like, actually, oh, no. that is you just true. don't understand the meaning. You don't understand. This represents the Maoist leap forward and the students that were massacred. And it's like, fuck shut you. the fuck up. Shut the fuck up. It's so stupid. Our artist, Josh, actually laughed when i told him that the, so the two comments that really made him laugh was one that said like they look like uh stickers from the mm -hmm. machine right. which is like the whole point yeah and then That's the, the other uh comment that retarded. made him laugh was somebody uh the ed hardy leopard mm -hmm. that i have on the side of my right leg. somebody took a picture uh -huh. of an ed hardy t-shirt right. that has the flash the on leopard, it that, right. and, yeah and was like uh i've seen this. yeah that's you got a T-shirt from Ed Har Ed Hardy of all shirts. I, oh my it's not God. like I don't even know what. It's the Ed Hardy, man. Imagine taking an illustration like somebody said in chat. Like Ed Hardy's cringe twenty five years ago. Ed yeah. Hardy, like. Uh, 
whole You're a product thing. now. You're now yeah. a product. This before. Uh-huh. And it's like that's literally the point. Yes. Cause it so uh, American traditional is one of the tattoo practices where oh, um, yeah. originality isn't like the goal of Right. Okay. Just like with this podcast, originality so, you know, surely wasn't the goal. Yeah, and it's like Okay. Oh my. Okay. Anyway, f there's so much examples we could bring. Like it's with music, like right? The people who use who use um, what's it called uh, when they're like uh, samples, sampling, and they steal other people's music. Well, that's fine because the originality. It's on the is same not level of art because they layered the samples, right? right? There's like certain artists that have created iconic flash that is repeated over and over and over again by American traditional artists. All of the flash or almost all of the flash on our body is worn by many people. You know, I have a lot of friends who have tattoos, a lot of friends, right? A lot yeah. of people who have tattoos that are like individual pieces, right? It might be silly sometimes, but every time that I've talked to these people, the artist drew it from like an idea they had. They go, yeah. hey, I was thinking about like da 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 da, -da or whatever. It's, it's not like they opened a book. So, like, it's like, it's not even that the artist drew it to be cool and we're not like into the art style. It's you got literally what b yes. b millions of people have. Yes. Because they're lazy. And, and by the way, all these tattoos they have on their body are called drunk tattoos. Yes. It's the, it's the tattoos yes. in Vegas and you go, 80 bucks. Oh, Bro, we should go get him. You know, you're like, so shittered. You you're, say, yeah, why not? And you wake up like, what the f do I have on me? Um, that have the Sailor Jerry uh, Some variation dagger. of this uh, this skull I've seen many a time. Yeah, I get why people think it looks bad. Very valid for that opinion, but it, it's yes! very. Thank it you. is valid. What a okay, now Dane just felts them here. This is actually pretty <laughs> keno of Dane. What he says. <laughs> All right, here we go. I imagine like modern tattooing is kind of like you say you own a building, like you own a building downtown mm -hmm. or something. You're just like kind of want like it's a big blank wall. I kind of want to like get something on it. Mm -hmm. uh, you so you commission a person to make a mural. Yeah. And they ask you, uh, what do you want the mural to be? And you can choose what you want the mural to be. Right. And it can be about your community. It can be about anything. Listen um, to this. But what you guys are doing is saying to the artist, just Graffiti, whatever you want to. Oh! Ah! Oh! Yo, that's a table. He just tables them table. so that it's like, yeah, you could have created whatever you want, whatever had like meaning, like a mural of the community. Instead, what you did was just got a bunch of like hobos to come in with spray cans and do whatever the f they wanted, and that's totally heckin' valid, guys. D Dane rules. I just like Dane. Well, I think Dane's just setup, there yeah. to watch the car, you know, the train crash, you know? Like, yes. He's just yes. there to watch, like, uh, holy, that's funny. On the side of the wall, just fill it up. And then getting multiple graffiti artists to come and, like, tag mm -hmm. different parts of the wall. Like, she's like, mm -hmm. like it's mm -hmm. a good thing. This is yeah, an no, she actually, yeah. This means you don't care. And by the way, this is not like a building where you could paint over. This is your fucking body. And yeah, you can have it removed, by the way, but like it's expensive and takes fucking a billion times to do. Holy shit. To kind of make this like more communal yeah. uh, experience to it. Communal. Get something permanent on your body as mm -hmm. well. I've noticed because a lot of people will talk about like regret or whatever. Like I'm scared I'm going to regret that. Uh -huh. At least for me, once it becomes a permanent part of your body, it like you feel the same way about it that you feel the way the, you. Okay, if you chop off your finger being a with a knife, oh, I I I don't regret being a with a knife because it's now a permanent fixture on my body like, what are you she's talking gonna, about she's gonna get felted as well okay. where the guy goes but didn't you get that one tattoo removed and then she's gonna go no 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 that was because oh. <laughs> wait does dane say that i think so yeah I feel about the rest of your body mm -hmm. which is like it's part of me i oh, like it yeah absolutely it's me i i don't question it i've never like looked in the mirror and been like oh Mm -hmm. <laughs> because it, it does it just becomes part of you and i think that's true for any style like if you go and get like a full fucking you know uh you like know suit, uh like um uh, japanese uh, traditional style suit mm -hmm. like once you get it done it just becomes part of your yeah being also um 
people always say, oh, it's permanent. Mm -hmm. That's not. It's you can very get removed. painful. It's so painful to get it removed. Yeah, you've got you you got a, a tattoo removed. Yeah. Oh, yo, no, no. That was <laughs> a fucking just, stealth bombing, like, wasn't yeah, it? Yeah, yeah, yeah. He just crushes her again. Like he is the ultimate falconer of this yeah. show. He oh comes in just to play. He's like, you know, it's not really permanent. I mean, like that. Like you had that fit, right? She's like, uh, yeah. Yeah, I do play Yakuza. Someone's asked. Yeah, it's hell. But I, but I'm just saying that it's not impossible. No, it's true. It's not impossible. I you I, went through it because you regretted it enough to. Oh my god! Oh, okay, oh, oh, Dave, don't show your power level. Like, oh, holy god. shit, Dave, Dave's on one today. He doesn't give a. F yeah, he doesn't care. You remove no, it. No, I I I went through with it because the artist that did my back would only do it if I had that tattoo removed. Oh really? Liar. <laughs> Go wait. Wait, Cope. stop. No, this did not happen. What she is saying is definitely a lie. Wouldn't they have just covered it up? Yeah. Wait, is that true? Stop. Well, she's tr she's full of shit. That's stupid. Huh. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's fair because like you know he's making these pieces for himself and. But don't you have uh, like sticker tattoos that everyone has? Why would they yeah. give a f? It's not it like it's like a. Any it's not like it's a realistic portrait that the artist took year like like a like a month to draw out and like meticulously make it for your body. It's a sticker fucking tattoo. The f are you talking about? He wants a good picture, um, mm -hmm. which I totally get. It's basically kind of the worst part of tattoos, in my opinion. Which is when they're uh, not display. put in properly. <laughs> well, yeah, which, which is basically like you're going to experience the tattoo fading. Like, you know, me experiencing this butterfly fading over, you know, it'll fade. Oh, my God. Probably. Oh, man. Let me take we are off. only 40 Listen. seconds away. Listen, guys, I have to take this fast off. It's really hurting. But for another 20, I'll do it for another 30 minutes. Let's go! I'm in Can right we now. hit it? We're not Let's gonna hit it. Let's get 20 subs. We're not gonna need to wear for that. I'm Probably. gonna fucking. <sighs> oh. Oh. My God. oh. Holy shit. Oh. That's intense. Okay. You're right. feeling it, huh? I'm feeling it bad right now. I'm not gonna lie. Oof, the two and a half hours that was like actual like fucking torture for my body. I'm not gonna lie. All, All right. right, I'm sitting back down. Hang on one second. Let's oh. get the twenty subs. What's up, Wolski? All right, here we go. I am sweating actually. Be a lot over the next mm. thirty years. Yeah, sure. Yeah. Uh, and it'll look pretty ugly probably by the time. We're on the 30th Why year. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, I wouldn't mind getting some clown tattoos as yeah. well. Those are oh, what? You, you know da, what? Da, 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 da. You that know, it's work. very fitting. That would I work. had to leave that it. He's going to get clown tattoos. His whole life is a circus. It all yeah. adds up. Yeah. yeah. Holy. <laughs> Good. I've go seen a lot. To... Like a pickle rick. Yeah. Um, no! Uh, you know, whatever's a shrimp frying rice. Yeah. Like, cool imagine that. Imagine getting a pickle rick tattoo or a shrimp frying fry. This is <sighs> what they think is good. This Ash. is what like this is uh, this is beyond just like rejecting God. Like it's just like it's like rejecting anything that's aesthetically good or beautiful or meaningful. <sighs> It's just like embracing and worshiping like sludge and grime and filth and garbage to the point where you just graffiti your entire body because you are that much of a worthless husk of a human. That's where we're at with these people. Pickle Rick! You know what's funny, Rick! bro? You, you know what's funny? Bro, I got Pickle Rick on my arm, dude! Look, look, look. Even if you're an impulsive tattoo person, I would get the Pickle Rick... Like, I don't understand someone's mindset. If you're an impulsive, f yeah, I got tattoos everywhere person, right? I would understand maybe the year Pickle Rick came out. I'd go, and then you like, five, 10 years later, you go, this is f it, right? But 
You're going to, like, the meme is done for years. When did Pickle <laughs> come out? Like, eight years it ago? It had to be eight years ago. Man. It was the Szechuan sauce was around that fucking time, right? Holy. Remember that Asian guy? Yeah, and I he was mean, freaking like, out. <laughs> Yeah. That's when everybody realized it's like it's time it's to over, yeah. sell your Rick and Morty stock. <laughs> sell your Rick and Morty coin, boys. Like treating yourself like a um like a sticker book. Yeah. Like, truly. Where you're just like That's I like, insane. Uh Stan. From okay, so hang on, hang on, hang on. Stan from South Park? Um, yeah. Freaking uh South Park. Yeah. First of all, it took like a minute to fucking figure out the stand from South Park. Secondly, sticker book. Okay, but you're going to shit on people who use their their body as a canvas for like memories and meaning. You know what I mean? Holy. Actually, a sticker book is a lot better than meaning and like, you know, whether you like tattoos or not, like stop it, Anissa. Are we done this shit? Or like, I, gotta, I like done. turtles meme is really popular right yeah. now in my friend group. Which one meme? Yeah. Or like the I like totals meme is really popular. I like totals meme. Wasn't that I'm like really, 25 I'm really years ago? I'm really concerned for this person. Right yeah. now in my friend group. Yeah. I'm going to get that. Okay. That, again, I said, guys, it was bad. That's... It was just so devoid of any entertainment value at all. It's brutal. Can I do a... Thing. That was the very best they had on the podcast.